Pastorne, Pinsala, Medicle. Side by side we stand, islands of the blue Caribbean seas. This our native land. We are the whole and may God bless our nation. Here every green light with the and may God bless our nation. Arms. Present arms. I solemnly pledge and dedicate my life to the service of my God and country. I will honor my parents, my teachers, my leaders, and my elders, and those in authority. I will be clean and honest in all my thoughts, my words, and my deeds. Share with everything I do. So we'll swing up with my fulfillment of every freedom race for the greater happiness of God and the honor and glory of my country. Hold arms. School so three folks. We're so glad to hear it for cause the school's the best of all. Here we learn a golden rule. As we daily go to school, teachers give us thoughts of love and a way up above. And we make our hearts within clean and pure and free from sin. So, so I lay not what rain or sun, we'll soon hear the victories won. And your hearts will be our goal for achievements here below. Your hair on a dog. I can't step small. We will keep in memory. There are the things. Three, four. Sing, 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 somebody sing, somebody sing, somebody sing, 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 somebody 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 sing, is mine. I can feel it in my body. I can feel it in my soul. The Lord is the Lord is mine. I can feel it all over me. It's a great change since I was born. It's a great change since I was born. It's a great change. Since I was born, it's a great chance since I was born. For the things I used to do, I will do them no more. For the things I used to do, I will do them no more. Things I used to do, I will do them no more. It's a great chance since I was born. Which side are you leaning on? I'm leaning on the Lord's side. Which side are you leaning on? I'm leaning on the Lord's side. I lean, I lean, I lean, I lean. Leaning on the Lord's side. I lean, I lean, I lean, I lean. Leaning on the Lord's side. Which side are you clapping on? I'm clapping on the Lord's side. Which side are you clapping on? I'm clapping on the Lord's side. I clap, I clap, I clap, I clap. Clapping on the Lord's side. I clap, I clap, I clap, I clap. Clapping on the Lord's side. Which side are you praising on? I'm praising on the Lord's side. Which side are you praising on? I'm praising on the Lord's side. I praise, I praise, I praise, I praise. Praising on the Lord's side. I praise, I praise, I praise, I praise. Praising on the Lord's side. This is the land of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is the land of mine. 
I'm gonna let it shine. Bless the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Sign my name, sign my name up there. Sign my name, sign my name up there. Sign my name with a golden pen, with a golden pen, with a golden pen. Sign my name with a golden pen, sign my name up there. Sign my name, sign my name up there. Sign my name, sign my name up there. Sign my name with a golden I am delivered, praise the Lord. I am delivered, glory to his name. I was lost in sin in the valley of death. I am delivered, praise the Lord. I am delivered, praise the Lord. I am delivered. Glory to his name. I was lost in sin in the valley of that. I am delivered. Praise the Lord. Real, real, real. Praise the Lord to me. I love him because he gave us the victory. Many people doubt him, but I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. I never get very ill, oh no. I never get very ill. I never get very present, oh no. I never get very ill. I never get very ill, oh no. I never get very ill. Present the Lord, and I get very well. Don't buy her don't buy her side, don't buy her don't buy her side, don't buy her side, don't buy her don't buy her don't buy her don't buy her side, 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 don't I said to carry them no more, carry them no more, carry them no more. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you very much, students, for opening our service this morning, our special day of prayer, with a very lively and energized song service. Before we continue, I would like to introduce a very special guest of ours, the Education Director for the South Caribbean Conference, Mrs. Jessica Cunningham, to bring greetings on behalf of the Education Department and the South Caribbean Conference. A special good morning and special welcome to our guest, Belize Adventist College, and to Southern Academy. I would want to extend greetings to our education director, both of the union and the conference of the Belize Union, union director and conference director, to our pastors, both in Belize and at Southern Academy in Trinidad, to our, special, our principal, Mrs. Pamela Heron, principal of Belize Adventist College, and our dear principal, Mr. Osric James of Southern Academy, and to all our chaplains, teachers, students, both of Belize Adventist College and Southern Academy, we want to extend special greetings to you 
on behalf of the administration of the South Caribbean Conference and Education Department. And when I say the administration of the South Caribbean Conference, I'm speaking about Pastor Moses, our president, Pastor Leslie Moses, Pastor Paul Filbert, our secretary, and Dr. Yvette Peters, our executive treasurer. They all send their heartiest greetings and congratulations. And we want to say welcome to Trinidad and Tobago, though it's virtual. Welcome to Southern Academy, located in the beautiful part of, of Trinidad. All of Trinidad is beautiful, but Southern Trinidad. And we want to say a special welcome to the IED Day of Prayer. And the objectives of this Day of Prayer so that our students can be encouraged to develop trust in God and, of course, through prayer. So welcome, Belize Adventist College. Welcome, Southern Academy. Thank you. Soldiers of Christ, surprise and put your armor on. Strong in the strength which God's love. Son of Son, strong in the Lord, and in his mighty strength of Jesus, trust is more than conquer. Stand in his great might, tall in strength and do. But take to one you for the fight and a plan of the young Living no longer in no weakness of the soul. Take it, but you every ghost and thought me I go to do me Standing, walking in your cups in sight, and watching on to prayer from strength to strength. Go on, vessel and fight, and tread over the paws of darkness now, and win the world for thee. <laughs> Students always ask, um, why is prayer important in my daily life and how can it benefit me? Well, when we pray, it is not so that we can get what we want from God. God is not no given genie. Rather, prayer is a way to connect with God and to align our hearts with his heart. Prayer is one of the most important aspects of our lives as followers of Jesus, and it should not be taken lightly. Prayer is not something we should do only at church or during Bible study or early in the morning before class, right? It's something that we should do every single day. Like any relationship, if you don't spend time with, with, with Jesus or the person you're having the relationship with, that relationship will suffer. And prayer is exactly the same way. For us to have a good relationship with God, we must spend time with God. And we do that through prayer. When we pray, we invite God into our lives. We seek his guidance. So with that in mind, let us hear what Solomon has to say. Um. Good afternoon. Good morning. I am King Solomon. Everybody knows me. I'm the world's richest and wisest man. Everybody came to visit me for my wise advice as I wrote around 3,000 proverbs. People came to see me 
people came to see the riches in my kingdom. I was born around 1010 BC and the 10th son of King David. I was only 15 years old when I became king and ruled for about 40 years. I am a hero because I use my wealth and prosperity to achieve ingenious reforms, innovations, and defense measures. I was so wealthy, I made gold and silver as common in Jerusalem as precious stone. I had 700 wives and almost 300 concubines. Many of my marriages were for political alliances. Unfortunately, with all of my wisdom, I allowed my wives to lead me into worshiping idols instead of God. I later repented and went back to worshiping God only. I was recognized as a highly ambitious builder and planner of public affairs. I established my royal palace in Jerusalem, the, cap the, cap the capital city, where I, built, where I built a city wall and a building called Solomon Temple. I wrote three books in the Bible, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Songs. I also wrote two Psalms and was esteemed as a great poet. Sadly, my disloyal actions, ungratefulness, and attitude evoked the anger of God and led, me, and led to my downfall. I discovered new challenges, new challenges in his kingdom, despite all the obstacles and difficulties. My ruling period is considered to be one of the prosperous periods in the history of Israel and is called the Golden Age. I was the most productive and prosperous kings of Israel. I died of natural causes at the age of 80, around 931 BC. My advice to you today, seek God and him only, because for the Lord God gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Proverbs 2 verse 6. I am King Solomon. Good morning, everyone. All things work for our good, though sometimes we don't see how they could. Struggles that break our hearts in two, sometimes blind us to the truth. Our Father knows what's best for us. His ways are not our own. So when your pathway grows dim and you just don't see him, remember you're never alone. God is too wise to be mistaken, and God is too good to be unkind. So when you don't understand, when you don't see his plan, when you can't trace his hand, trust his heart. Trust his heart. He sees a master plan. And he holds our future in his hand. So don't live as those who have no hope. All our hope is found in Him. 
We see the present clearly. But he sees the first and the last. And like a tapestry, he's weaving you and me to someday be just like him. God is too wise to be mistaken. And God is too good to be unkind. So when you don't understand, when you don't see his plan, when you can't trace his hand, trust his heart. Ooh, ooh, ooh. God is too wise to be mistaken. And God is too good to be unkind. So when you don't understand, when you don't see his plan, when you can't trace his hand, trust his heart. When you don't understand, when you don't see his plan, when you can't trace his hand, trust his heart. <laughs> Buenos días todos. Buenos días todos. Good day, everybody. Vamos a orar. We are going to pray. Primero en español y pues en inglés. Firstly, in Spanish and then in English. Señor Dios. Y Padre nuestro, te agradecemos por tu majestad y por la vida en este mundo. Gracias también por esta oportunidad de reunirnos en este, esta asamblea, vínculo de estas dos escuelas en Belice. Y aquí, en la isla de Trinidad, en la República de Trinidad y Tobago. Señor Dios, en el nombre de Jesucristo, pedimos que multipliques las bendiciones de esta iniciativa más allá de estas estos territorios gobernados de las capitales de Belmopan en Belice y Puerta de España en Trinidad y Tobago. Que toda la gloria sea para ti, Padre Dios. Acepta esta oración y nuestra adoración rezamos en el nombre de Jesucristo y con la ayuda del Espíritu Santo. Amén. En inglés, the prayer, I pronounce the prayer. Father and God. We thank you for your majesty and for life on this earth. Thank you also for this opportunity to gather together in this assembly 
a link between these two schools in Belize and here in the island of Trinidad, in the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask that you multiply the blessings of this initiative beyond these territories governed from capital, the capitals of Belmopan in Belize and Port of Spain in Trinidad and Tobago. May all glory be yours, dear Lord. Please accept this prayer and our worship, we pray, in the name of Jesus and with the help of the blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Miss. Prayer is important because it helps us to stay close to God. When we pray, we are opening up our hearts to him and he is able to work in us and through us. The more we talk and spend time with someone, the more we get to know them. And the same, things, the same thing happens when we spend time in prayer, we spend time connecting with God. The more time we spend talking with him, the closer we are becoming and we get closer and closer to Jesus. The Bible says in James 4, 8, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Prayer helps us focus on what really matters. Paul writes in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, to be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God which passes all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Prayer is important because it positions us to receive God's blessings. It positions us to receive God's peace, and even in, 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 in life's hardest moments, and even in some of the good times too. So let's sit back now and hear from Jabez. Good morning. I am Jabez. Most people know me and call me a hero because of the prayer of Jabez. The prayer is a simple one. I prayed, oh, that you would bless me indeed. And <laughs> that your hand will be with me and that you will keep me from, the, from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted me what I requested. You can find it in First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 7. I was born in Judite in the days of the judges, and I, and I proved myself to be above my low standing, to be righteous in the eyes of God and men. As I started by telling you, I'm mostly, I'm mostly famous for my short but effective prayer. My mother had a hard time at the hard time at the time of my birth, so she called me grief or pain. Names are very important, and I was not going to let that stop me. So I prayed the simple prayer to God, and He answered me. You see, God is not interested in how you start. The important thing is how you go through life and how you finish. I wanted to go through life well and to end my life good. So I asked God, you see, things were very hard in the kingdom of Judah at the time, at the time, and I knew that God help, would help me. Since the many people have used my prayers as an example to pray, you can always pray to God or Heavenly Father. God is a father to the fatherless. Psalm 68 verse 5. Even through other people, including our parents, may let us down. God is always there. We can always pray to him. We can pray to God for blessings because God loves us. and to bless us, and he is honored when we ask him. My prayer also helps people to see that it is impossible 
it is possible to ask God to help us to live well and to be good in this evil world. We need God to help us out of trouble. We need his guidance and protection. So continue to pray, Lord, bless me and enlarge my territory. May your hand be with me and keep me from evil that I may not cause pain. I am Jabez. Amen. We now welcome a special from a student, Jesse in Belize. Thank you. Good morning, Southern Adventist Academy. We are so happy to be a part of this initiative with you all. We would like to welcome you to the East Adventist Society. We are very glad to see you next to give you a wave and a loud amen. Now we have a very special welcome. Buenos días. Están cordialmente bienvenidos al país de Lice. Vamos a ver el look. Welcome to the Bienvenidos a
We thank you all for that special. Here are some ways that um, prayers can benefit us in our daily lives. I know I've already mentioned uh, a few of them to, to you, so you may hear some twice. Prayer can help us focus on what is important. Prayer can help us to stay hopeful in dark times. Prayer can help us stay connected to God on a deeper level. Prayer can help us deal with difficult emotions and situations. Prayer can help us find comfort, support, and peace. Prayer can help us develop a strong relationship with Jesus. Prayer can help us become more compassionate and loving people. Prayer can help keep our minds and our thoughts clear. Prayer is a way of communicating with Jesus to ask him for, for guidance in our lives. And prayer can help us to win battles in difficult times. Now sit back so that we can hear from King Jehoshaphat. I am, I am Jehoshaphat, the fourth. I am Jehoshaphat, the fourth king of Judah. I was born in 905 BC, and you can find some of my life story and read in Second Chronicles chapters 17 to 21. I am called a hero because as king, I brought peace to the kingdom of Judah. The kingdom enjoyed a great measure of peace and prosperity, the blessing of God resting on the people in their basket and their store. I was called a strong king. I ascended the throne at the age of 35 in 870 BC and reigned for 25 years. I walked in the ways of my father, our ancestor King David, and worshipped the true God. I successfully suppressed the idolatrous worship of the high places in my first years as king. I fortified the kingdom of Judah against the kingdom of Israel. In my third year, I sent out priests and Levites over the land to instruct the people of, in the law of God and instituted religious reforms. I appointed judges throughout the cities of Judah and a form of court of appeal in Jerusalem. I pursued alliances with the kingdom of Israel in the north. My son Jerome married Atalia, the daughter of King Ahab of Israel in my 18th year. As king, I visited King Ahab in Samaria and nearly lost my life accompanying him. Ahab to the siege of Ramat Gilead. I, I safely returned from home from this battle and was reproached by Prophet Jehu about this alliance with King Ahab. I saw the error of my ways and I repented. I went back to worshipping God and prompting God's law in the kingdom. I later entered into an alliance with Jerome of Israel in a war against the Moabites and subdued them. Later, the Moabites formed a great and powerful confederacy with the surrounding nations and marched against my kingdom. I fervently prayed to God about it. O oh, our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power to face the vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are, are upon you. Then Jahizel, the Levite, announced that the next day all this great host would be overthrown. So it was for they quarreled among themselves and killed one another, leaving the people of Judah only to gather the rich spoils. Soon after this victory, I died after a reign of 25 years at the age of 60, around 849 BC. The people lit a bonfire in my honor. God hears and answers prayers. O oh Lord, help us, for our eyes are upon you. I am Jehoshaphat. Now, here's the thing. Prayer can only do any of that and more because of who Jesus is. He is the one who can help you focus, find peace, purpose, and so much more. Prayer is so important. Prayer is important if we want to grow deeper in our walk with Jesus. Just like how talking with a friend or family member helps you to connect and grow closer, prayer is communication with God and allows us to grow closer to him. Thank you, God, for prayer. Let's bow our heads, please, for a short prayer, and then we'd have an intercessory prayer by um, Pastor Patterson Moore. 
Father God in heaven, we thank you again. Lord, teach us how to pray today. Teach us how to communicate with you in prayer and show us what we can do to spend more time with you in prayer today than yesterday. Thank you, Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much for this opportunity to pray with the Seventh-day Adventist School at Belize and the Southern Academy of Seventh-day Adventists in Trinidad. I want to invite you to bow your heads with me as we pray. Father in heaven, we are thankful that in every situation, you have made yourself available so that we can call upon you. I lift up every teacher, every principal, every student, and every one, Lord, who is involved in Christian education this morning. I pray that your Holy Spirit will move in our schools so that as the students come, they will not only learn and do well in academics, but that they will be drawn closer to you also. Lord, as our faces differ, and we all come from different backgrounds and different families, we have our challenges as individuals. And so I pray this morning because I believe that there are students who might be going through challenges, who might be having a tough time with maybe a subject or two. And I pray this morning that you will intercede, that you will intervene, that you will help them, Lord, to grasp, to retain, so that they can be successful in their exams. I pray that you will be with them, each one in their home uh, situation, whatever they may be going through that might be affecting their studies, whatever they might be going through that is affecting their lives. I pray in a special way that you will intervene, Lord, and that you will bring deliverance to everyone. I pray for the staff, Lord, the God-fearing staff that you have raised up to nurture our children. I pray that you will touch them as they lead out, as they teach, that they will do it with an unction from your Holy Spirit, so that indeed our schools can be successful and that others around will know that something good is happening among your people. And this is the place to send their students so that they can learn and they can be developed, not just to live on earth, but even to live for eternity. So bless us today as we continue to intercede and as we continue to have this program may each one be drawn closer to you we pray in jesus name amen and amen, amen.
Will you accept his call to be a disciple for him? presence requires following God when the way is unclear. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. The why not? The why not? To share at this at this time.
showers of blessings. Many young men and women have entered BSE Green and each have left as ripe young men and women of high integrity of godly principles. Many teachers, nurses, doctors, soldiers, police personnel have contributed mightily to our country due to what they have learned at the Belize Adventist College BAC. This is our workshop at Belize Adventist College. Here, we make wonderful projects. This is our computer lab. Here we learn to prepare documents, learn typing skills, and use different applications. BAC's brand of education is unique here in the north. The young students receive a Bible message or link for every topic that is covered in every subject. This amazing approach has helped many a troubled young man and young woman. The singing and praises to God can be heard all around our campus. There is a kind of spiritual electricity flow flowing both to the mind and the mind. The students that are enrolled at the Belize Adventist College receive a power of protection since the day they were enrolled here. Belize Adventist College is more than a school. Joy can be seen on the faces of our, all our teachers and the students, showing the principles of God. The choice is so clear. Blessed amazing college, BAC.
Pastor Patterson Moy, husband, a father, a pastor, a, a good friend, a schoolmate, and a great supporter of Adventist education to say a few words about prayer. Thank you. Thank you again for this wonderful opportunity to be a part of this week of prayer in our schools. I am particularly happy because Adventist education is very, very dear to my heart. My children went through the whole system from the primary, secondary, right here at Southern Academy. And my daughter and I graduated in 2017 from the University of Southern Caribbean. I am very happy to be here to support at any um, occasion I get it. In fact, before I came here this morning, I was at the primary school praying for the students who have exam at the end of this month. So it, it, it's, it's really close to my heart this morning. I have absolutely no regrets in sending my children to the Adventist school. I applaud the teachers and the staff for the wonderful God-fearing work that they have done and they are continuing to do. This morning, I want to just speak to us briefly on the issue of prayer. Now, there might be those who might be attending school and they may be thinking to themselves that I have signed up to go to school for five years or how much ever years, and uh, I am supposed to be doing grammar and maybe math and all these other subjects. And this week of prayer may not be a part of your psyche or part of your curriculum. But I want to say to you this morning that we should count it a privilege when we reflect on the fact that our pioneers decided, they saw under inspiration that we should have schools because we understand that there is more to life than academic qualifications. In fact, I believe that any human being who has lots of knowledge and don't have the fear of God, that person can become lethal. Because knowledge without God can make someone dangerous. So as we decided, our forefathers decided to have a school, it was with an intention that our young people, our children, would not just grow up learning how to battle in the world, in the world of work, but that they will understand deeper, the deeper significance of life. There are some examples in the Bible, and I do not have time to share all with you, but I remember there is this guy called Daniel. And Daniel, because of his upbringing in the fear of God, when he was placed in Babylon, he was doing his political duty because the king had appointed him in a lofty position. And he was doing his duty and there were those who didn't like Daniel at all. And so they decided to plot something against Daniel. And they looked through the records and they assumed that anyone who is in any high position, there will be some scampishness, some underhandedness. So they looked through the record because they wanted to find something that what they could have accused Daniel of so that the king could have gotten rid of Daniel. But the record stated that they could find nothing wrong with Daniel. 
In fact, the Bible records that Daniel had an excellent spirit. An excellent spirit was found in him. And so when they saw that nothing could be found to accuse Daniel, because they knew, they understood that when people get power, oftentimes they do things that are sinister, things that are underneath. But nothing was found in Daniel's situation. And so they plotted to, to get Daniel because the only thing that they could have accused Daniel of is his religious life. And so they plotted so that they could have prevented Daniel from praying. But what I like about this uh, story is that I've learned that no one can stop us from praying. You know, as I was looking at this program this morning, I saw that we had some technical difficulties because that's how it is with man-made stuff. But when it comes to prayer, there will be no technical difficulties. If current go, you could still pray. If they lock you up, you can still pray. If your eyes are plucked out, you can still pray. There is nothing could interfere with prayer. There will be no static. And I'm glad that God created that sort of avenue so that the weakest saint could call upon Jesus. And so they tried to stop Daniel from praying. And the Bible says in Daniel chapter 6 and verse 10, now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his window being open in his chambers towards Jerusalem, he knelt upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did aforetime. So he continued to pray. And you see, there is something deeper in life than just what meets the eye. And I believe in that experience in the book of Daniel, it was not just a matter of the Babylonians against a Hebrew boy. It was a battle that was taking place in the unseen world. And Satan well know. Satan well knows that in order to get the strongest person to crumble is if he could get him to stop praying. Because Satan is aware that the weakest saint that gets down on his knees, he's calling upon power. And Satan is afraid of the power of divine power. So the Bible says in the book of Ephesians, and this is good information for students who are coming to school because oftentimes we think that we are young and a week of prayer like this sometimes disturbs us and gets us on our nerves because we want to get on with the program and, and, and I am grateful today for schools like this that could punctuate our academic pursuits with weeks of prayer. And I don't know about your country in Belize, but as I listen to the news, I know that there is a lot of school violence, a lot of problems with young people, child delinquency, and all those sorts of things. And, and if you could have a school where prayer is a part of the curriculum, you should praise God this morning. If you, your parents have chosen to send you to a school where you can spend time when the Bible is a part of the, the book list, then you ought to praise God this morning. And I'll tell you why. Because in the unseen world, the Bible reveals to us in the book of Ephesians chapter 6. Listen to what it says in verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Now, if it was flesh and blood, it would be okay. Then we could deal with those who we can see with our eyes. Now, I'm not a, when I was growing up, I was never a fighter. You know, as that songwriter said, uh, Michael Jackson, and, um, I think it was Paul McCartney, he said, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I was never a fighter in school because I couldn't take hard lash. I would avoid fight as much as possible. Now, if it is a physical fight, maybe I might throw in a hand or two and maybe I might get a lucky punch in somewhere or the other. But the Bible is saying this is not the fight. It's saying that we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers, and against rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places, not in low places, but in high places. Therefore, 
it is imperative for us to understand that as we live on this earth, and I want to praise God for the school, I want to emphasize that this morning, and I want to rub it in to every student, to every teacher, to everyone, that this is not just about academics. This is about a battle that is taking place, and there is a deceiver. He is called the enemy. He is called the devil, and he's going to destroy you because he doesn't love you. And the Bible brings out the point that we are not wrestling against normal human beings. There is an underlying battle that is taking place. And you need to praise God that you are coming to a school that believes that there is a great controversy. And therefore, prayer. Prayer is not optional, but prayer is an ultimate necessity. In fact, as we look at uh, Ephesians chapter 6, it says, we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. And it go on to describe how we should put on the whole armor of God. And I don't have time to go through all of that. I'll skip to verse 18 now. After it describes about the shield of faith and, and, and the word of God, it goes on to say in verse 18, pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Prayer, as some a writer said, is the breath of the soul. And this morning, I want to say to you that you need to take advantage of the privilege of prayer. It's an awesome thing when sinful human being could have the opportunity to be ushered into the audience chamber of a divine God, the one who is all-powerful. If you are having problem with maths today, if you are having problem with any academic subject today, I want you to know that you could go to God and in prayer, nobody could interrupt, nobody could intervene and he will give you the victory. And I want to end with my testimony today. I was a failure in school. I played the fool in school. I came out of school with nothing because I didn't know Jesus. But then I was introduced to Jesus just around the age of 16. And I started to read my Bible. And my mind was illuminated. And I started to pray. And I started to understand. And the Holy Spirit impressed my mind and said, listen, if you could understand biblical stuff, which is not an easy thing to, to, to understand, because the natural man does not receive the thing of the Spirit of God, they are foolishness unto him. So then if you could understand the word of God, then the spirit is doing something in your mind. And then you could go back, pick up some academics and learn some stuff. Because if you could understand the word of God, then doing academics is taking a step backwards. And then I started to, I got the, the textbook and I started to read and I did it under the guidance of the Holy Spirit because I did not want to go back to school as a big man. And I read the books and I did the subjects and I passed with flying colors and I went back the following year and I did it again and I passed with flying colors. Today I am standing here with a degree, not because of academics, but because the spirit of God and prayer, he brought me through. And have me standing today looking good. Not by might, nor by power, but by prayer. And I remember sitting down with those textbooks, not even understanding what the chapter is saying. And I would kneel and pray and ask the Lord, Lord, please help me to understand. And I would rise up and read the chapter and still not understand. And then I would close my book and go to my bed and sleep. And while I wake up in the night and I'm going to the washroom to use the washroom and I stand in there with my eyes sleepy, the, the thought will just come to my mind. And I will leave the washroom, go back, open the book and read the same chapter that I couldn't understand. And then it will dawn upon me and I will say, wow, praise the Lord. I'm saying to you this morning, appreciate the privilege of prayer appreciate the school having a week of prayer because where there is prayer there is power and it's an awesome thing to be a part of the seven day adventist school system this is second to none 
my admonition to you this morning is to take advantage of it. Call upon Jesus and you just allow yourself to bask in the glory and the goodness that God has provided. Go to God in prayer. Any difficulty, go to God in prayer. Prayer is a wonderful privilege. Get to know him. I want to ask you to pray with me at this time as we come to a close. Father in heaven, thank you that when we close our eyes and our mind is uplifted, we can reach straight into your throne room without any hindrance. And today, Lord, as we have this week of prayer, it's a wonderful opportunity for each student even those who may not even want to be here today, even those who find that this prayer week is a disturbance and annoyance to their curriculum, even if there's a teacher, Lord, who may find that this is a key back. I pray this morning that your Holy Spirit will impress their mind to understand the necessity of prayer and the power of prayer and to know that it is by prayer that we could be successful. So, Lord, impress our minds, and we are thankful that you are God who is not too mighty, too high and uplifted to be able to stretch your air, to listen even to the weakest saint. So, bless us today, and may our schools continue to thrive and continue to bring out successful exemplary students so that the governments of these countries, Belize, and Trinidad and Tobago will recognize that these schools are exceptional because our children are not just successful in academics, but they have characters that we could describe as excellent, like Daniel, an excellent spirit. So continue to bless us today. Bless the staff. Bless every student. Bless Belize school and the staff and the principal and everyone. And bless even those in Trinidad and Tobago. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pastor Moore. And at this time, we look forward to hearing from Belize again. Thank you.
much we had a beautiful beautiful morning i must say so i want to say thank you on behalf of the principal the staff 
the students at, at Southern Academy, and of course, our director of, um, of, of education, Mrs. Jessica Cunningham. I want to say thanks to you all and extend you all all God's blessings in Jesus' name. So goodbye, adios, have a great time, and blessings to you all. Bye! Right now, the prayer we're going to ask is a lot of people to give you an answer to what they're ready to talk.